And away from that now to Nollywood, filmmaker Kunlia Falayo rolls out the red carpet for the official premiere of Guess, Guess What? The Netflix original series and Nicola Ko, I know, I know, I know we saw the movie but this time it's a series. It's called The Rise of the Spectre. The lead cast including Biba Demoye, Shola Shobo Ale, Owobo, Gunde and others joined the award winning director ahead of the match first release date of the six pack series. Details in this next feature. <laughs> Just like African royalties, as the theme for the evening requires, actors, actresses, movie lovers and industry practitioners come out looking like royalty as they step onto the red carpet for the premiere of Anikulapo, The Rise of the Spectre. African royalty and I'm trying to make it more than a little bit. So I'm doing a show game with Adire and um, Ileke, Inyu, and the African style with Irukere in the modern way, short one. So I played Bashon. Bashon is the main villain in in the series. Um, Bashon is a, of course, he's a senior chief in Oyo. Um, he's the head of military. He's very strategic, um, but he's also demonic. He's, he's a really, he's a tough guy. He's a warmonger. Um, he's a spiritual, powerful person. And he did a lot, lot, lot of bad, bad things in this movie. But you have to watch it to see who Bashan is. We're not just celebrating Yoruba culture. Um, from a world perspective, we're celebrating Africa. And, and, and Africa covers all of these other uh, sort of uh, countries that you've mentioned. So kind of bring everything together um, and show the world because I'm sure so many people around the world are going to be watching this. So when they watch and they see this, gar this, this garment, they'll be able to see a bit of themselves in it as well. Lead actress in the series, Shola Shobowale, says she's excited about the series, emphasizing the series caters to documentation of history and storytelling. I am over the moon. I am extremely happy. I feel on top of the world to be part of this. For one big reason. If you get to schools nowadays, I remember when I was going to school, when I was in my secondary school level, I remember there was something called history. From history, you will know people that you've, when you, people of legend of years back before your existence, and when you are on and after you. But they removed history from Nigerian school. So how do my children how did they know about Ojo Ele? Kule brought this back. So with this Anikulakbu, even me, I learned a lot of things. People that I've never heard of. From Anikulakbu, I, I got to know them. You've seen some old legend, some ancestors. We have an, we have uh, Aniwura. We have to know what this lady called uh, uh, um, Hey, what's her name again? Oh, in Lagos. Madam Tinubu. Madam Tinubu. And this woman, Awaru, is one of them, just like that. So these are the people, you know, when they were there, the, the dignity in labor, they call the shot. Even though they don't have husband, they still make their presence. People are still ahead of them. They're so powerful, rich and everything. That is what we are going to find in Awaru. Veteran actor and lead cast in the series, Taiwo Hassan says the spin off series differs from the original 2022 movie in various ways, including the storyline. You know, we shot the very first uh, Manikula Koda was last year and it was previewed, and people have already watched it. This series that is coming out on the 1st of March, it's a different story entirely. Yeah, it was titled Anikula Koda. But we are going to see a different thing entirely. And the clap is a film to be watched. I'm Olori. You know, I'm the Olori in the previous one. So this is the continuity. I'm still the Olori now. And for me, my, my character in that movie, anything KBAC is doing, it's okay. Even if he's dying, it's okay. If he's doing abnormal thing, for me, it's okay. Anything that he's doing is okay. 
KDS is the right person. Nothing, he doesn't do anything bad as far as the first salary is concerned. The series, Anikulako, The Rise of the Spectre, features a robust cast of both old and new Nollywood faces. Actor Latif Adedimeji explains his excitement when contacted for a role in this new series. I watched the first one and then when I heard, ah, it's going to become a series, I thought, okay, let's be hopeful, something will happen. And when I got a call, oh, I'm ready to go deliver, you know, so it's, um, it's, a, it's a thing of joy for me, you know, everybody wants to be part of something good, everybody wants to be a part of um, history, everybody wants to be a part of a success story. And this is another success story that is about to break the world go global tonight and then I'm happy that I'm a part of it. All seated and ready to see the series for the very first time, director and producer Kunle Afolayo welcomes everyone with short quips and behind the scenes stories. Anikolako Rise of the Spectre is something that has been in work for like eight years and um, finally it is here. Um, I want to especially thank Oludumari, uh, for the grace, for the knowledge, for the wisdom. This series continues the story of the lead characters, Arolake, played by Bimbo Ademuye, and Saru, portrayed by Kunle Remy, and how many communities are now living with the consequences of their actions from the original movie. Oh,